Hello everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we will be going over the triangle congruency postulates. We'll talk about four main postulates that prove two triangles are congruent. We're not going to do anything too involved with them. We're just going to state what they are and uh, look at a couple triangles. Should be a lot of fun. So let's start off with the most basic one, I would say, which is side, side, side. The side, side, side congruency postulate, which we can also write, of course, as SSS, simply states that if two triangles um, have three congruent sides, then they are congruent. Um, so by that, I mean if two triangles have three sides that are congruent to each other, that means the triangles are congruent. So if this side's congruent to this one, this one's congruent to this one, and this one is congruent to this one, then we know by the side, side, side triangle congruency postulate that these two triangles are congruent. You just have to have all sides being congruent to that of another triangle. Now we will look at side, angle side, more commonly referred to as the SAS postulate, how it will usually be written, the side angle side postulate. This just states that if two triangles have two pairs of congruent sides and the included angle um, of those sides is also congruent, then those triangles are congruent. So let's look at an example of this. Try to mix up what my triangles look like here. Something like that and something like that make them look at least somewhat convincing. So the side angle side postulate says if we have two sides congruent, let's say this side's congruent to this side and this side's congruent to this side, and their included angle is congruent, which means the angle between those two sides is congruent. So if it was these two sides, we'd be talking about this angle. If it was these two sides, we'd be talking about this angle. But in this case, we're talking about this angle because that's the angle um, included between the two sides. If you have this between two triangles, then those triangles are congruent. That's a side, a pair of sides that's congruent, another pair of sides that's congruent, and then the included angle being congruent. So that means those two triangles are congruent. Then we have a similar one, sort of in reverse, which is the angle-side-angle -angle congruency postulate. Of course, this one um, is commonly written as ASA. The angle-side-angle -angle postulate says what you might expect. Let's say we've got two triangles, something like this. It says that if we have two angles that are congruent between triangles, let's say this angle is congruent to this one, and this one's congruent to this one, and their included sides are congruent. So again, that's the side between the two angles, which would be this side. If we were talking about these two angles, it would be this side. If we were talking about these two angles, it would be this side. But in this case, it is this side. So if you have two pairs of congruent angles and their included sides being congruent between two triangles, then those triangles are congruent. And then lastly, we'll talk about a more specific one, which is the hypotenuse leg congruence postulate. And this one, of course, is abbreviated HL. The word hypotenuse there might key you into the fact that this postulate only works with the right triangles. So let's say we have a right triangle, looks something like this, and another one that looks something like this. Of course, they're supposed to be the same. If they have a congruent hypotenuse, and a congruent leg, let's say it's this hypotenuse, of course they only have one hypotenuse, and this leg, then these two triangles have to be congruent. And again, this is only true for right triangles. They have uh, a congruent hypotenuse, their hypotenuses are congruent, and then they have one pair of legs congruent. So it could be this leg and this leg, or it could be that leg and that leg. And that's the four main triangle congruency postulates. Side, side, side says that if two triangles have three congruent pairs of sides, then those triangles are congruent. Side angle side says if you have two pairs of congruent sides and a pair of congruent angles that is included between those sides, the triangles are congruent. Angle side angle says if you have two pairs of congruent angles and the included pair of sides is congruent, those triangles are congruent, and hypotenuse legs states that for two right triangles, if their hypotenuses are congruent and they have a pair of congruent legs, those triangles are congruent. 
And that's all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you understand all of these triangle congruency postulates. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if you need anything clarified, or if you have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear. There's a light where I